Hey there, it's Johnny here, and the welcome to another episode of the 3C Show. And we've got all the ingredients for a good morning. We've got coffee, we've got beautiful morning light, and we've got awesome nature. So what more can you ask for? But that's not what we're here to do today. Although, I am enjoying my coffee, so... Mm. Ah, life is good. Life is good. How good is this? What a beautiful spot. I actually picked my coffee up just there. There's a coffee van. So if you're here in my area, coffee van, Ruby Point car park. Hot tip, hot tip. And I'd love to catch up for a coffee if you're here, so hit me up. Anyway, off topic. Let's get to what we're talking about today. Today, we are talking about the highlight warning, the blinkies on the back of your camera and why they are really an important tool to turn on on your camera to help you get your exposure right in the field, okay? Super, super cool tool. Now, they're called a few different things across different cameras. So if you just Google camera model, how to turn on blinkies slash highlight warnings, um, I'm sure you'll find it. I want to give a shout out to my awesome team 3CX community. You guys rock. We've got a community full of landscape and nature photographers learning photography together. A journey, you know, it's just great. You know, we've got a massive archive, a library of masterclasses that you can take anytime you want to help you with anything landscape and nature photography related. We have masterclasses, we have assignments where you can submit a photo based on a topic and we get and you get feedback from me and the community. We also have, you know, an awesome weekly call where we all jump on a call and talk about a topic and um, we just, you know, just basically support each other through the journey of learning photography and I'm super excited about that. So, and you probably see I'm talking really fast because this is like my second coffee. So yeah, but I'm excited about that. <laughs> I am excited. So uh, email me below and uh, I'll hook you up and if you're ready to, to, you know, to take your photography to the next level, come join me in the community. It's just awesome. We have a blast in there. It's so much fun. So let's get into the tip. So why are your highlight warnings so important? Why are they helpful when you're getting your exposure and how do they work? Okay. So once you enable them, if you take an image and you'll see an area, like if you shoot directly into the sun, like this photograph, and you'll see that area there is blinking, you know, and that's telling me that that area is overexposed and I'm losing detail in that area, okay? That's what that little, the highlight indicator warning indicates to me. And what's really nice about that is at a quick glance after you've taken your photograph, you can quickly look at it and go, oh yeah, I'm probably a little bit overexposed or, or you know, you can see there's no blinking, no blinks at all. Okay, so maybe my exposure is correct, okay? So it's just a really quick indicator for you to check your exposure. It goes hand in hand, yes, with the histogram, there's no doubt about it, but it's a great way to gauge whether your photograph's overexposed. And if your photograph is overexposed, then in that area, chances are you've lost detail, okay? All right, so take a look at this photograph and you can see the blinkies on this one are just a little bit. There's just a little bit of a warning there, okay? Given that there's only just a slight bit of blinkies, you know, I can pull that back in post. So remember, when we're looking at the back of the camera, the, the live view or the preview of your photograph that you're seeing is actually the JPEG version, okay? And because we're landscape and nature photographers, we know we need to be shooting in RAW. So when we get back to our RAW converter, we can pull those highlights back a bit and recover some of that detail, okay? So I'm not saying whenever there's an indicator on your highlights, um, whenever you see that those blinkies, you must underexpose further. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying use this as a guide. So if you see the whole lot of the sky or half the sky is blinking, then maybe your exposure is too overexposed, okay? But if you see, you know, you've just got one little bit of area or a couple of dots here and there, and you know how much detail you can bring back with your camera, depending on how much dynamic range it can capture, you know how much detail in those highlights you can bring back, then you'll know that, oh, okay, just a couple of little blinkies here and there, that's okay. I can deal with that exposure, okay? And, and the inverse thing happens for the, for the shadow warning too. Some cameras have it, it's not as common, okay? A lot of the newer mirrorless cameras have this feature, okay? And it tells you um, basically when the shadows are crushed, when the blacks are too black, okay? Most cameras, particularly a lot of the new ones, can handle, you know, the, a little bit of black in their scene anyway, and you can open up those shadows, and they'll still be clean enough 
um, to, to bring down the any noise that's happened because of that underexposure, okay? And you'll be able to recover those shadows fine. It's really more important about the highlights, but I just wanted to, to let you know that there is a like a shadow warning as well, okay? But it's not as important as your highlights because once your highlights are blown out, and particularly if they're really blown out like that first image we set, I showed you, um, the detail is totally gone out of that area, okay? So this is just a, it's just a helpful indicator, a helpful thing uh, for you to gauge how your exposure is going when you're out there in the field, all right? So turn on those blinkies, have fun, get a coffee, get in nature. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna go for a walk up the beach, or I might even go for a swim. It's such a beautiful day today. It's so good to be alive, and it's so good that I can help you with your photography. And remember, if you're ready to go next level, the Team 3CX community, send me an email, help at threecolors.co. Let's talk about it. Let me explain to you why I believe this is the absolute best way to learn photography. All right, guys, talk to you again really soon. And this is Johnny for Three Colors, threecolors.co, the site that's uh, here to help you with your photography. And uh, I'll talk to you again really, really soon. All right, love you guys. Peace. I can't do it today because of my coffee cup. Hang on a minute. Love you guys. Peace.